One question clients sometimes ask me is, well, Simon, where would you buy? And of course, the answer to that depends really a little bit on what you're going to be doing there. Um, your answer will be different if you're going to be living there um, rather than you're just entertaining friends or you're there for holidays. Um, so it's really uh, quite a personal choice. Um, I'm going to give you some ideas of how that kind of works, but just with reference to Switzerland, which is the country that I, I know best. So if I had an unlimited budget and I could buy anything in Switzerland, where would I buy? Uh, I would probably buy in Zermatt. In fact, I'm sure I would. The problem is I can't because Zermatt is closed to foreigners unless you are uh, Swiss or you are resident in Switzerland. It's not possible to buy in Zermatt. So Zermatt, unfortunately, would be, would be out. OK, so let's say I was going to be spending quite a lot of time there, summer and winter, some months of the year, maybe a second home rather than a holiday home, if you like. Where would I pick? Um, I would probably look at uh, Villa, which is where we first started selling way back in 1986. Uh, the resort's changed quite a lot since then. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a proper place where you could comfortably live throughout the year. Um, it's not just a ski resort, it, it's something more than that. Another one would uh, be certainly Cron Montana. Uh, I'm not a golfer, but they have two amazing golf courses. Uh, they have a lake in the summer. Um, there's a lot going on there. Nice restaurants, very nice restaurants, some quite upmarket shops. Um, even a casino, but um, I'm not a gambler, so uh, it wouldn't be appeal to me. But you have you have everything in Cron Montana, and um, maybe that's a resort that if I was going to be spending a lot of time in Switzerland, that would be on my list. If I'm looking for somewhere which would be uh, just more of a, a holiday home that I would come in and out of um, for a short period of time, well, that's easy for me to answer because that's what I did. Uh, I had a property for many years, and clients will then say, well, where was that? Uh, the answer is Sasfe. Um, and for me, Sasfe ticked a lot of boxes. Uh, I bought it when my uh, children were quite uh, small. They were, well, they were between age seven and 14. And I bought there because I wanted somewhere that was bulletproof. It was bulletproof in terms of snow security, uh, because the resort is very high and the glaciers uh, are open for skiing right throughout the summer. I bought it also for longevity in terms of my kids. I didn't want in five or ten years time my children saying to me, I oh, know we don't want to go, it's boring, there's nothing to do. Um, I, I chose it because I knew that there would be plenty of t to do and being a traffic free resort, the seven year old could from day one uh, go around the resort with her, her, her cousin uh, and they could go and uh, have a hot chocolate in one of the cafes and, and have their own fun. And when the children got to be older, well, there was plenty of apres ski and there were some decent bars and, and a big choice of restaurants. So uh, there are different things which pull us in different directions. But one thing to remember is, is my own experience is that uh, you don't just buy for today, you buy for tomorrow as well. So have a think about um, how, as your family uh, gets older and develops, uh, what would maybe suit you in five years time or ten years time. Maybe uh, in ten years time you might be retired, in which case somewhere like Villar and Cron Montana would, would be definitely on my list. Um, it's a personal choice. Um, if you want some help with it, uh, please call me and uh, I'm very happy to make some other suggestions which uh, fit your own lifestyle and uh, your own requirements. Um, look forward to hearing from you.